A power takeoff or power takeoff PTO is any of several methods for taking power from a power source, such as a running engine, and transmitting it to an application such as an attached implement or separate machines. Most commonly, it is a splined drive shaft installed on a tractor or truck allowing implements with mating fittings to be powered directly by the engine. Semi-permanently mounted power takeoffs can also be found on industrial and marine engines. These applications typically use a drive shaft and bolted joint to transmit power to a secondary implement or accessory. In the case of a marine application, such shafts may be used to power fire pumps. In aircraft applications, such an accessory drive may be used in conjunction with a constant speed drive. Jet aircraft have four types of PTO units, internal gearbox, external gearbox, radial drive shaft, and bleed air, which are used to power engine accessories. In some cases, aircraft power takeoff systems also provide for putting power into the engine during engine start. See also Kaufman starter. Topic. History. Various power transmission methods were available before power takeoffs became common, but there were applications left wanting for some of the attributes that PTOs would provide. Flat belts generally lent themselves only to applications where the engine was stationary, such as factory steam engines, portable stationary engines, or traction engines parked in front of the work. For moving vehicles such as a traction engine or early tractor towing a farm implement, the implement could receive rotary power by taking it from one of its own wheels whose turning was imparted by the towing and distributing it via roller chains to a sickle bar's crank, for example, but such a transmission ceases if the vehicle stops traveling, and the workload's resistance tends to make the wheel skid rather than turn, even if cleated. The concept of a shaft drive with easily connected and disconnected couplings, and flexibility for driving at changing angles such as when an articulated tractor and trailer combination turns, was a goal to pursue. Experimental power take-offs were tried as early as 1878, and various homemade versions arose over the subsequent decades. International Harvester Company IHC was first to market with a PTO on a production tractor, with its Model 8-16, introduced in 1918. Edward A. Johnston, an IHC engineer, had been impressed by a homemade PTO that he saw in France about a decade before, improvised by a French farmer and mechanic surnamed Gugas. He and his IHC colleagues incorporated the idea into the 8-16, and designed a family of implements to take advantage of the feature. IHC was not alone in the market for long, as within a year PTOs were appearing on other production tractors, such as some case models. In 1920, IHC offered the PTO option on their 15-30 tractor, and it was the first PTO-equipped tractor to be submitted for a Nebraska tractor test. The PTO was a competitive advantage for IHC in the 1920s, and other companies eventually caught up with PTO implementation. Inside the transmission, the exact point along the gear train where the power is taken off determines whether the PTO can be run independently of vehicle travel ground speed. Early PTOs were often taken off the main output shaft, meaning that the vehicle had to be in gear in order to run the PTO. Later this was improved by so-called live PTO LPTO designs, which allow control of the PTO rotation independently of the tractor motion. This is an advantage when the load driven by the PTO requires the tractor motion to slow or stop running to allow the PTO-driven equipment to catch up. It also allows operations where the tractor remains parked, such as silo filling or unloading a manure spreader to a pile or lagoon rather than across a field. In 1945 Cockshit Farm Equipment Limited of Brantford, Ontario, Canada, introduced the Cockshit Model 30 tractor with LPTO. Most PTOs built today are live. In modern tractors, LPTO is often controlled by push button or selector switch. This increases safety of operators who need to get close to the PTO shaft. Topic. Safety The PTO and its associated shafts and universal joints are a common cause of incidents and injury in farming and industry. According to the National Safety Council, 6% of tractor-related fatalities in 1997 in the United States involved the PTO. Incidents can occur when loose clothing is pulled into the shaft, often resulting in bone fractures, loss of limb, or death to its wearer. 
On April 13, 2009 former Major League Baseball star Mark Fidrick died as a result of a PTO-related accident. He appeared to have been working on the truck when his clothes became tangled in the truck's power takeoff shaft. District Attorney Joseph Early Jr. said in a statement, some implements employ light free spinning protective plastic guards to enshroud the PTO shaft, and are mandatory in some countries. In the UK, health and safety executive guidance is contained in a leaflet. Topic. Technical standardization Agricultural PTOs are standardized in dimensions and speed. The ISO standard for PTOs is ISO 500, which as of the 2004 edition was split into three parts. ISO 500-1 General Specifications, Safety Requirements, Dimensions for Master Shield and Clearance Zone ISO 500-2 Narrow Track Tractors, Dimensions for Master Shield and Clearance Zone ISO 500-3 Main PTO Dimensions and Spline Dimensions, Location of PTO, the original type calls for operation at 540 revolutions per minute RPM. A shaft that rotates at 540 revolutions per minute has six splines on it, and a diameter of 1 3 8 Quote dot. Two newer types, supporting higher power applications, operate at 1000 RPM and differ in shaft size. The larger shaft has 20 splines 1 3 quarters diameter, while the smaller has 21 1 3 8 diameter. All three types rotate counterclockwise when viewed from the tractor when standing behind the tractor, the shaft turns clockwise. A 10-spline type was used with some early equipment such as the 1948 Land Rover, a 6-spline adapter was usually supplied. It is customary for agricultural machines manufacturers to provide the nominal PTO power specification, an indication of the available instantaneous power at the shaft. Newer tractors may come equipped with 540-540 e and or 1000-1000 e options that allow the tractor to power certain low power demand implements like hay rakes or tedders using lower engine speeds to maintain the revolutions per minute needed, using less fuel and placing less stress on the engine thereby improving efficiency and reducing costs. The first industry standard for PTO design was adopted by ASAE the American Society of Agricultural Engineers in April 1927. The PTO rotational speed was specified as 536 plus or minus 10 revolutions per minute, the direction was clockwise. The speed was later changed to 540 revolutions per minute. Topic. Use on commercial vehicles. Truck transmissions have one or more locations which allow for a PTO to be mounted. The PTO must be purchased separately and care is required to match the physical interface of the transmission with a compatible PTO. PTO suppliers will usually require details of the make, model and even serial number of the transmission. Care is also needed to ensure that the physical space around the transmission allows for installation of the PTO. The PTO is engaged, disengaged using the main transmission clutch and a remote control mechanism which operates on the PTO itself. Typically an air valve is used to engage the PTO, but a mechanical linkage, electric or hydraulic mechanism are also options. Most Unimogs come with front and or rear PTOs and hydraulics as well as three-point hitch systems. Units will be rated according to the continuous and intermittent torque that can be applied through them and different models will offer different PTO shaft rotation to engine RPM ratios. In the majority of cases, the PTO will connect directly to a hydraulic pump. This allows for transmission of mechanical force through the hydraulic fluid system to any location around the vehicle where a hydraulic motor will convert it back into rotary or linear mechanical force. Typical applications include Running a water pump on a fire engine or water truck Running a truck-mounted hot water extraction machine for carpet cleaning Driving vacuum blower and high-pressure solution pumps Powering a blower system used to move dry materials such as cement Raising a dump truck bed Operating the mechanical arm on a bucket truck used by electrical maintenance personnel or cable TV maintenance crews Operating a winch on a tow truck Operating the compactor on a garbage truck Operating a boom, grapple truck 
Operating a truck mounted tree spade and lift mast assembly Topic. Split shaft A split shaft PTO is mounted to the truck's drive shaft to provide power to the PTO. Such a unit is an additional gearbox that separates the vehicle's drive shaft into two parts. The gearbox facing shaft which will transmit the power of the engine to the split shaft PTO. The axle facing shaft which transmit the propelling power to the axle. The unit itself is designed to independently divert the engine's power to either the axle facing shaft or the additional PTO output shaft. This is done by two independent clutches like tooth or dog clutches which can be operated at total driveline standstill, only. Since the main gearbox changes the rotation speed by selection of a gear the PTO cannot be operated during driving. The vehicle needs to be stationary for operation therefore. On 4x4 vehicles only the rear drive shaft is used by the split shaft PTO gearbox requiring the vehicle's 4x4 drive scheme to be of the selectable 4WD type to keep the front axle drive shaft completely decoupled during PTO operation. It is also possible to connect something other than a hydraulic pump directly to the PTO for example, fire truck pumps. Topic. Sandwich. Split shaft. A. Sandwich. Type split shaft unit is mounted between engine and transmission and used on road maintenance vehicles, fire fighting vehicles and off-road vehicles. This unit gets the drive directly from the engine shaft and can be capable of delivering up to the complete engine power to the PTO. Usually these units come with their own lubricating system. Due to the sandwich mounting style the gearbox will be moved away from the engine requiring the driveline to accommodate the installation. See also Balancing machine References Bibliography <references> <references> Cripps, Robert N., Moreland, Andrew Photographer 1993, Farmall Tractors, History of International McCormick Deering Farmall Tractors, Farm Tractor Color History Series, Osceola, Y., USA, MBI, ISBN 978-0-87938-763-1